All right, here what we want to do is we want to evaluate the quadratic formula. Okay, I've set aside three different examples. All right, far out. Let's start with this one up here. Um, until you're a professional, I strongly encourage that you label your a, b, and your c. Your a is the coefficient on the leading term. Here we see this a is going to be 1. Fun. And your b is a minus 2. Oh. And your C is a minus 3. Tee hee, tee hee. It's important that the minus signs stick with the coefficients. Okay, and then we're going to plug it right up in the quadratic formula. X is equal to minus B plus and minus square root B squared minus 4 A C all over 2 a okay so after this it's an order of operations problem I need to go and I need to clean it up I see x is gonna be minus a minus 2 is 2 plus the square root of this appears to be 4 plus 12 very nice divided by um 2 yes clean it up x is 2 plus or minus the square root of 16 divided by 2. Here, um, this is going to look like 2 plus or minus the square root of 16 is 4 divided by 2. Now we see that is actually two cases. This is 2 plus 4 over 2 and 2 minus 4 over 2. Okay, so then this is 6 over 2 which is 3 or minus 2 over 2, which is minus 1. Fun. And these are my zeros. OK. A box and a flower. Proceeding on to our next example. In our next example, here, my a is 2, my b is 3, and my c is minus 5. Very nice. Okay, so then I'm going to plug it in, plug it in. It's going to make the whole room smell fresh. I see this is going to be x is equal to minus b plus and minus square root b squared minus 4 a c all over 2 a okay finish him x is equal to a minus 3 plus and minus square root 9 that's 20 is that 40 yes plus 40 all over 4 sure so here we get to see x is equal to a minus 3 plus or minus wait for it wait for it 49 what's the square root of 49 7 over 4 so then, it'll break up into those two cases. X is equal to a minus 3 plus 7 over 4, or a minus 3 minus 7 over 4. Finish him. Wow, we're getting low down here. Yeah, this is the low down. The skinny on this equation. Um, that's 4 over 4, which is 1. Okay. And then that's minus 10 over 4. So that's going to be a minus five halves. Very nice. Yes, our answers can be fractions. And I'm on up here. Yes. This next example, in order to use the quadratic formula, you need to put it in standard form, meaning ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. So I gotta set this dang dang equal to zero. So then, this is gonna be x squared minus 2x plus 5 is equal to zero. And here, my a is 1, my b is minus 2, and my c is positive 5. So then, x is s menos b, Masi menos raiz cuadratico b squared minus 4 a c 
a toro, so what? Dos, a, okay. I'm cleaning that up. This is, this is x is equal to two plus or minus the square root of four minus 20 is a minus 16 divided by two, almost there. So then this is x is equal to two plus or minus the square root of, now it depends on which class you're in. In an intermediate algebra class, you can definitely deal with this, that's imaginary. But um, in a class previous to this, any algebra, um, leading up to intermediate algebra, this is not real. And you would leave it like that. This is the thing that gets, no, you'd say not real, box that, and grow some flowers out of that. But here, we're gonna keep on keeping on in the inter intermediate algebra flow of things. So this can be done. The square root of minus 16 is 4i. What did you call me? I'm not even wearing my glasses. Okay, divided by two. Now you're not gonna leave it like that because a complex number is in a plus bi form. So you're gonna put your answer in a plus bi form. This is x is equal to two over two plus or minus four over two i, which can be cleaned up to one plus or minus two i. And then, a box and a flower. That's not a flower, that's a barbecue. And do you know why? Because that's how I like my math. Well done.